The science of studying insects is called entomology and at this time of year you can often find us out in the field investigating invertebrates with the help of our sweet nets. If you do not have this equipment, don't worry, there are other ways to investigate the incredible world of mini beasts. Butterflies can be attracted to cut fruit so I've put out some orange as a natural lure. However, this has only really attracted wasps. Day one, one wasp. Day two, two wasps. Look how much of the orange has disappeared on day three. People don't tend to like wasps, but they are effective insect predators and they're beneficial to humans because they eat a lot of pests like caterpillars and small larvae that feed on our vegetable crops. Next method, a butterfly feeding table. Bees and butterflies can see colours that we can't see and they respond to the different colours of petals. So, I've got my jam jar lids and I've drawn around them and um, I've made different petal shapes that I've then cut out and I'm now going to paint those to try and make them more appealing to the butterflies. I've dissolved a teaspoon of sugar into probably about 10 teaspoons of water, hot water, um, and let that cool. So I'm going to place my flowers under my lids, put them on the table and then pour my sugar solution into the lids. So maybe it wasn't such a good idea to put the butterfly table next to the lavender. Can you tell what these gatekeepers prefer feeding on? I spotted this beautiful white admiral drinking from a sponge the other day, so I thought I would sugar soak some sponge for my third attempt at a butterfly feeding station. It wasn't long before these flowers were found by a honeybee, who must have returned to the hive to let her friends know about the new nectar source. Did you know that bees communicate both direction and distance of flowers to their fellow bees by shaking their booty? in a waggle dance. Meanwhile, the butterflies were taunting me. Everywhere I looked, I could see them fluttering around, drinking nectar from my garden flowers. So in conclusion, the best way to attract butterflies to your garden is to plant lots of pollinator-friendly flowers. Nature's way is always the best. However, if you don't have these flowers in your garden, then setting up a temporary feeder might entice them in and help you to look at these amazing creatures more closely. So the next method of investigation is tree shaking and for this you will need a white sheet, some pots to collect your insects in, a paintbrush, soft paintbrush and a magnifying glass and some ID sheets are quite useful. Now you need to find a tree or a bush with low hanging branches and lay your sheet out underneath. Give it a good shake You'll find different things depending on the tree and the time of year, but it's best to do this on a dry day. Once the mini beasts have dropped onto the sheet, you can collect them using your containers and the paintbrush to tickle them in. You need to be really gentle so you don't hurt the creatures you're looking at. Using an identification sheet can help to work out what you found. Not sure, but I think this is an oak bush cricket. You can tell it's a cricket and not a grasshopper because of those really long antennae. If you take a close look at this spider, it's got beautiful markings. It's important to release your insects back where you found them. Now see what you can find. Happy hunting!